Right then, you're gonna have to scoot. Excuse me, I've skipped a few steps because I've not got a tripod today. I've gone and left it at work. But loop the chain round, taking it as far back on the axle adjuster as I can, far forward even, because obviously as the chain stretches, you will tension it this way. Loop the chain round, and I've popped it on the rear sprocket like this. So basically we want this one out. Let's drop a mark on that. And then we'll stick this quick link in replace of that link and it'll link the two ends together. How do we get that? How do we split that? Have to mess my shed. Got a few different weapons. To get this pin, somehow get the head of the pin off. And I'm hoping this chain breaker will fit that. Now if you're lucky enough to have a grinder or cordless grinder, obviously you just go bzzz, grind that down, knock it out. I've not got one at home. So we could be here a while. I'll stick it on time lapse. <laughs> Just going to mention actually, I said on another video I had a chain snap on this bike and I'll just say it did not snap anywhere near the link or where I'd been cutting the chain, it did snap in the middle of the chain. So this is slightly annoying, I'm slowly losing the daylight but I was hoping I might get the bike together enough to take it for a run around the block today. Around the back sprocket, and now feeding it around the front sprocket. Oh, is it gonna line up? Is it gonna line up? We're in a pickle if it's not. There we go. Quick link comes in three bits. Stick that through the back. back then you have a plate then this clip needs to be that way facing that direction of travel because if it's facing that way as the chains going round it could flick it off see that on there Pliers out of the toolbox I'm using as a seat. Easy peasy. Next, this bike's got two of these style adjusters, so we're gonna go let's go to that first mark that side. Just past the second mark. Let's go somewhere on this side. Check this side's still okay. Let's just back it off slightly and go bang on the mark. Tighten the axle nut up. 